the Quran is indeed from God, does it contradict itself in as much as it says, okay. mm -hmm. Therefore, Jesus was born, he died, and he rose again. The second question. If God... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me challenge you. 75% of the wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic is from the Bible. And I would urge you to look into the Bible and find out where these sources are. And the And I'd like to urge you to consider that when we say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, we see the Trinity 113 times in the Quran, like the Bible says, Bismil Ab wal ibn wa ruh al We must love one another. We must recognize the truth. Even the Quran testifies that Jesus is the only person who knows the hour of judgment. Matthew's Gospel, we are told that the wise men. I also like to say that it will help to ask Mr. Rida to see if he can explain to you where did you come up with the word Isa in the Quran when his name is Yasur in Arabic. I'd like to know about that. Furthermore, a small group of scholars in Jerusalem labored to achieve the fulfillment of a 16-year-old project. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ حَقًّا فَآمِنُوا بِي وَلَا تَخَافُوا إِنَّ لَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ جَنَّاتٍ نُزُلًا فَلَأَسْبِقَنَّكُمْ إِلَى اللَّهِ لِيُعِدَّهَا لَكُمْ ثُمَّ لَآتِيَنَّكُمْ نَزْلَةً أُخْرَى وَإِنَّكُمْ لَتَعْرِفُونَ السَّبِيلَ إِلَى قِبْلَةِ الْعُلْيَا فقال له توم الحوري مولانا إنا لنملك من ذلك علما فقال له عيسى أنا هو الصراط إلى الله حقا ومن دوني لا تستطيعون إليه سبيلا ومن عرفني فكأنما عرف الله وهئنكم منذ الآن تعرفونه وتبصيرنه يقينا فقال له فيليب الحواري مولانا أرنا الله جهرة تكفينا فقال عيسى أو لم تؤمنوا بعد وقد أقمت معكم دهرا فمن رآني فكما فكأنما رأى الله جهرا For you who do not know Arabic This is We are told in Surah An-Nisa Verse 3 When This is I hope will not be misunderstood but this is a verse in which it says, and if you can be fair to marry, marry as many as four, but if you cannot marry just one, one is bound to ask if Muhammad... He didn't quote the verse correctly. He was saying Surah Nisa, verse 3, or something to the effect. The Quran says, marry women of your choice by twos and threes and fours, but if you cannot do justice between them, marry only one. The only religious book, I'm saying the only religious book on the face of the earth, which has this expression, marry only one, is the Quran. There is no other book on earth. A Muslim husband may cast his wife adrift without... A Muslim husband may cast his wife adrift without giving a single reason or even a notice. The husband possesses absolute, immediate, and unquestioned power of divorce. He can simply announce to his wife, I divorced you three times, and she's gone. No privilege of a correspondent. 
but he's supposed to have known the Quran. There is a chapter in the Quran, the whole chapter is called Surah Talaq, meaning chapter divorce. You must have read it. Surah Talaq. Talaq means divorce. At the outset, Brother Sharosh, he said, he has been studying the Quran for two years now. Two years. Uh, sure. See what the Quran says, please, brother. And then point a finger at the Quran and say, look. In Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 256, we are told, there is no compulsion in religion. La ikraha It was very different after Muhammad's power was established when the Muslim armies went forth to attack the surrounding tribes and nations. They offered them three options. Islam, tribute, or the sword. Incidentally, I said, look, my brother, Sharosh, you are a proof that the Muslims didn't use any compulsion for 1,400 years. For 1,400 years, you and your other Christians, whom you now say number 14 million, they lived in our midst. In, in Egypt, the Muslims have been the overlord of that country for 1,400 years. For a few years, the French came, for a few years, the British came, but overall, for 1400 years, the Muslim has been ruling that land. And yet, and yet, today, you can boast there are 10 million Coptic Christians in Egypt. If there was compulsion of any kind, there would not have been a single Christian left in the country. was to be signed by Muhammad, they refused to acknowledge him as the Apostle of Allah. Relenting to their demands, he struck out that title and wrote with his hand, instead of Muhammad, Rasulullah, Muhammad, son of Abdullah. A second incident... And he lied again about the history of Islam, that at Hudaybiyah, Muhammad changed the words to Muhammad ibn Abdullah instead of Muhammad Rasulullah. What the Holy Prophet Muhammad did was... He is instructing the scribes when the Quraysh, the pagans, the mushriks, when they objected to Muhammad Rasulullah, Muhammad Sallallahu he told the scribe, cut off Muhammad Rasulullah. So the disciple in love and feeling, they said, no, we can't cut it off with our own hands. We can't cut it off. We can't say that Muhammad is not Rasulullah. So now what to do? The treaty was being jeopardized. So the Holy Prophet is asking, where are these words, Muhammadur Rasulullah? So he saw the word Rasulullah and he took the pen and he marked it off. That is what he did. He didn't put Muhammad ibn Abdullah. <laughs>